This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. In anticipation of the upcoming Watches and Wonders 2024 event, where Rolex is expected to unveil its latest models, there's considerable speculation surrounding what the brand might reveal. Over the past decade, Rolex has demonstrated a penchant for surprising the industry with unexpected releases like the Celebration Dial or Emoji-themed watches. However, despite this trend towards unpredictability, enthusiasts have been analyzing past releases and identifying potential areas for updates. In today's video brought to you by the luxury world, we will unveil some updates for Rolex's upcoming releases for this year. If you have not subscribed to our channel, we encourage you to do so to stay informed about our upcoming videos. The first Rolex watch we have envisioned for 2024 is a reimagined Yacht Master 2. Currently, the Yacht Master 2 falls within the series of watches with reference numbers starting with 11, indicating it belongs to the previous generation of timepieces. This model has been part of Rolex's collection since 2007 and has seen minimal updates since its introduction, aside from minor alterations in 2017. We believe it is time for Rolex to introduce something fresh and innovative while toning down the current model's flashy and oversized characteristics. So, what might this new Yacht Master 2 entail? As a regatta chronograph with a programmable countdown and mechanical memory, we acknowledge the excellence of its functionality and aim to maintain its core features intact. However, we propose a mechanical redesign of the watch without altering its essential functions. Like the approach taken with the Daytona last year, Rolex could implement subtle changes, such as incorporating the Chronergy escapement. Visually, our concept for the Yacht Master 2 focuses on streamlining its design to achieve a sleeker aesthetic. Primarily, we suggest reducing the diameter to 42 mm from the current 44 mm, making it more proportional and comfortable on the wrist. Additionally, we hope that they can revise the bezel, eliminating the prominent Yacht Master logo and the 0 to 10 graduations, which duplicates the function already present on the dial. Given the nautical theme of the watch, we envision it paired with a stainless steel bracelet or a navy blue rubber strap to complement the bezel and dial color. This combination would enhance the watch's versatility and appeal to a wider audience. Overall, our vision for the Yacht Master 2 reflects a refined and contemporary interpretation of the iconic timepiece, blending functionality with understated elegance. One of the most eagerly awaited releases for 2024 is speculated to be the revival of the Milgauss line. As you may be aware, Rolex decided to discontinue the Milgauss model last year, a move that we believe represents a significant departure for the brand, particularly in terms of its commitment to producing scientifically and magnetically resistant timepieces. In today's watch industry, there is a prevailing emphasis on anti-magnetism, a feature Rolex has historically incorporated across its entire range. However, with the removal of the Milgauss, there is now a gap in Rolex's lineup for a watch specifically dedicated to this purpose. In contrast, other brands such as Omega, with its Master Chronometer certification, and even within the Swatch Group, with offerings like the Powermatic and Nivacron Hairspring, are placing increased emphasis on anti-magnetic properties. Additionally, there is internal competition from brands like Tudor, which also offer watches with the Master Chronometer certification. Given this landscape, we believe Rolex must respond by reintroducing the Milgauss or something similarly focused on anti-magnetism. Regarding the potential redesign of the Milgauss, we envision a watch that aligns with contemporary trends, featuring a slimmer 40mm case and incorporating crown guards on the sides to reflect recent aesthetic updates within the brand's lineup. So, the Milgauss would retain its sporty essence and maintain a clean appearance, foregoing a rotating bezel that some might have expected. Instead, we are adhering to the watch's classic design standards. The dial of the revamped Milgauss would preserve traditional elements such as a lightning-shaped second hand while incorporating orange accents on the markers for added flair. In terms of the movement, we envision it being equipped with the latest 32 series generation, featuring advancements like the Chronergy escapement and a heightened focus on anti-magnetism, potentially incorporating silicon components. The goal is to ensure the watch attains master chronometer certification, guaranteeing robust resistance to magnetic fields and aligning it with industry standards. This shift would allow for a slimmer profile, as the watch would no longer require a Faraday cage, and could even include a sapphire crystal case back, enhancing its allure. However, we are also entertaining a groundbreaking idea, leveraging Rolex's renowned innovation capabilities. In terms of research and development and the brand's influential power, there's room to envision a groundbreaking innovation, something unprecedented in the industry. We are talking about a truly magnetic movement, a concept that has yet to be realized. While existing watches with master chronometer certification boast impressive resistance to magnetism, they still retain some level of sensitivity. 
Watt Rolex could potentially pioneer is a watch that is completely impervious to magnetism, regardless of the strength of the magnetic field. This concept, often referred to as an anti-magnetic watch, would mark a significant leap forward in watchmaking technology. We passionately believe that Rolex has the capability and the responsibility to introduce such a groundbreaking advancement, positioning itself as the industry leader in terms of magnetic resistance. Rolex's Ternograph, a model we envision the brand reviving, holds a unique place in its history. Initially introduced in 1953 with a rotating bezel, it preceded the Submariner. However, due to the Submariner's overwhelming success, the Ternograph transitioned into a more subdued watch within the Datejust family. While not consistently produced, this discrete timepiece has garnered a dedicated following over the years. We propose Rolex reintroducing it as a 36mm model with a rotating bezel. Modernizing while remaining true to the brand's ethics, this iteration would feature the elegant proportions and refined dial of the Datejust, enhanced by a sleek ceramic bezel and subtle red accents. Technically comparable to the Datejust, it would offer the choice of an oyster or jubilee bracelet. The Rolex Explorer Polar is a recurring wish for enthusiasts, despite its slim likelihood of materializing. We advocate for Rolex to fulfill this desire by simply offering Explorer models with white dials, reminiscent of the iconic Polar versions from the past. This addition would fill a void in the collection for a sports watch with a white dial, particularly in the 36mm and 40mm Explorer variants. Regarding the Daytona, which underwent a comprehensive redesign last year, we propose the inclusion of a meteorite dial option. Drawing inspiration from past iterations, this dial would feature a panda-style layout atop a silver-based meteorite background, paired with a ceramic black bezel, available in various gold options and offered with either a bracelet or Eister Flex rubber strap. This update would offer a captivating blend of elegance and contemporary style. Lastly, in our Rolex 2024 predictions, we envisage two new iterations of the well-received Perpetual 1908, introduced last year. Drawing inspiration from Rolex's historical approach of incorporating small complications, particularly observed in the Cellini collection, we propose two distinct versions. The first variant features a dual time function with an independent display positioned at 6 o'clock, replacing the traditional small second subdial. To enhance practicality, corresponding to the Cellini line, we relocate the second hand to the center and incorporate a discrete day night indicator within a small aperture. The second envisioned version of the Perpetual 1908 incorporates a moon phase complication, reminiscent of the refined elegance seen in past Cellini models. The moon phase display is positioned at 6 o'clock, replacing the small second subdial. It features a blue enamel disc with a meteorite moon motif, evoking a sense of timeless sophistication. Please note that these are speculative concepts and not based on official information yet. We eagerly await Rolex's announcements on April 9, 2024, to see what they have in store for us. Do you have your predictions for the new Rolex watch releases? If you have any specific ideas you would like to discuss, feel free to share some thoughts or insights in the comment section. We are willing to share our insights too based on current trends and expectations in the watch world. Remember to follow us and give us a thumbs up. Once again, this is the luxury world, and we look forward to seeing you again in our future videos.